Okay, this one is going to be called humble in demoralization. Because I think Lewis Hamilton is remaining humble in demoralization. Because look what's happened. The start of the season we seen. Whoa, the end of last season we seen. What happened at the end of last season? And then the start of 2022, Hamilton jumps in the yellow car. Car number two. Like, hold on a minute. That was the first sign of Hamilton not being number one at Mercedes. But Hamilton was humble in demoralization and he embraced the yellow car and matched it to his helmet. Like, and had some people saying, oh yeah, he chose it. He chose that car because he wanted it to match his helmet. Nah, I never bought that for one second. That is the number two car. And then the car, the the number two car had the parts being tested on it. While the number one car only had the parts after the parts had been tested. But we were like, that's just because Hamilton's got more experience in the car. So that's why he's testing out the pieces, the parts. He's having the new stuff because he knows what he's talking about. That's what we was clinging on to. But hold on a minute. You test the parts on the number two car before they go on the number one car. So, what's going on here then? Hamilton is in the number two car. But Hamilton just embraced it on the interviews. It just, oh yeah, we're testing out parts of my car. I had a few things on my car that made it a little bit heavier than blah, 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 blah. He just embraced it and stayed gracious in demoralization. Coming up, what happens next? Let me think what happens next. So we've had Lewis Hamilton is in the number two car. He's in, he's in the yellow car. He's got the parts tested on his car. And then and then we go to, then we go to the Dutch Grand Prix. This is one I'm thinking now. I'm just going to pick two. I'm going to pick Brazil, the Brazilian Grand Prix, the Dutch Grand Prix. They're the ones I'm going to pick. But then there's probably others, okay? Some things in the back of my mind, but I can't really. I'm sticking to them, I'm sticking to them two for now. Dutch Grand Prix, where George Russell basically was the number one car and was allowed to take Lewis Hamilton. And then in Brazil, George was the number one car and Hamilton just stayed behind him. Well, Hamilton has just stayed gracious in defeat the whole time. But look at these things that are happening. If you go back to the Dutch Grand Prix, Hamilton, why did he not get this treatment? Why did he not? Or why did the team not tell George just to hold fire, stay where you are? But Mercedes don't do that. To be fair, they don't seem to do that. They didn't do it in Brazil either. But they made Brazil happen in a different way. They didn't have to do that because they made it happen through the strategy. They ensured George Russell victory to the best way they could out of Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. So all through the season, Lewis Hamilton been demoted a seven time eight time all time world champion the champion of all time has been demoted to the second car but it's just said it's just stayed gracious in defeat when the team has worked against him and worked for george it's just stayed gracious in defeat imagine lewis hamilton let's say a kanye west because he everybody knows kanye west if lewis hamilton was kanye west how would he be reacting right now? He would be aiding them in destroying him and defeating him by the way he would be reacting. He'll be coming out and saying, they're trying to destroy my legacy. They're trying to stop what I can become. They're not on my side. They're against me. That's what he would be saying if it was Kanye West. But Lewis Hamilton is staying gracious in defeat and making defeat look like it's just nothing. He's not letting them demoralize him to the point where he, he destroys his own character. Like Kanye West and other people as well. I'll just stick to one, but there's many others. They make them destroy their own character by, by putting them under pressure. And putting them in situations where they know what's happening. And they make out to the public something some, they make out to the public that something else is happening. But behind closed doors, these people know what's going down. And it gets them annoyed and they and they just they lash out. 
but not Hamilton. He knows what's going. He must know what's going on. He must do. And he's staying gracious. He is not letting them make him have no outbursts. Make him destroy his own character. Let's not forget what these people like to do to the black man. They they ruin the black woman in the mind. They do the black man in the mind too, but. They also have to do that in the public eye for the black man. They have to destroy the black man in the public eye. So you have a, pu a bad public perception of the black man. That's why it's called blackmail. You can't trust somebody who, who might blackmail you. <laughs> if someone deceives you and tricks you, they blackmail you literally in the language. I've already spoke about it. Let's not get going down that road, but it's there. So I'm repeating it again because it's there. I'm using the English language to speak. It's part of it. So as we see them try to bring down Lewis Hamilton and Hamilton is just taking it so gracefully and he's making it look like it's nothing. But if you really and truly think about it, would you act like Lewis Hamilton in his position? How would you, how would you react and respond? How would you be taking this? Going to Mercedes, right? And they putting you in the number two car after they didn't help you in 2021. They didn't fight for you in 2021. Then you come back in 2022 and you're in the number two car. And then not only are you in the number two car, they treat you like a number two driver and they give the number one driver as much as they possibly can. And you are just the guy that just keeps getting the hard side of the deal. But hold on a minute. I, I am, I created you. <laughs> Mercedes was created by Lewis Hamilton. The corners that came to Formula One, the amount of people that are Mercedes fans because of Hamilton used him. They used him. And now they're abusing him. And they're trying to make him ruin it. They've already made their legacy off Lewis Hamilton. Now they want to make him destroy his. While they keep theirs. Because if Hamilton destroys his own image, it won't destroy the Mercedes one. Mercedes have got their thing now. They've done their thing. Lewis Hamilton is just staying gracious in defeat and humble in demoralization. Now, is that a good thing or should he be more of a Muhammad Ali? Because Muhammad Ali wasn't, he, didn't, he wasn't gracious in defeat. He didn't get defeated. Hamilton probably won't get defeated, to be honest with you. You probably won't defeat him. So, that's why I can stay gracious. They're trying to, but if you stay, if you don't act up and act in the way they expect you to, I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest with you. And this is why I, I get a little bit worried for Lewis Hamilton in Formula One. Because you don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> they normally get what they want. Somehow. And if you don't, if you don't take their demoralization pill, and if you don't ruin your own image, then you're, then you're just taken, you're wiped out completely. Basically, <laughs> they're wiped out completely. So that's why I worry about Lewis Hamilton in Formula One. And the fact that what they try to do is not really working right now, that worries me a little bit too. Unless Lewis Hamilton is just riding out his contract and is just going to leave Formula One, then that's probably the best thing. Really, I don't want to see that. I want to be wrong with all of this. I want to be wrong. But if I'm right, you should just leave the sport alone. Just, just go out and do your own thing, man. <laughs> do a Sebastian Vettel. Do a Sebastian Vettel and just say, no, that's enough, it's enough. Enough is enough. Because Se Sebastian Vettel, the reasons why Sebastian Vettel has left Formula One, I think they're way deeper than just, I've got different things to do in my life right now, my family and stuff like that. Obviously, they are things, but them things have taken over the passion for Formula One because he sees Formula One as something like he's fallen out of love of it, like it, like it was exposed. He's seen the true colours of it and he's like, Am I really part of this? I don't want to be part of this. I am too mature in the mind to even associate myself with this and this, this organization, the way they do things and the people they are. 
That's why I think Sebastian Vettel has left Formula One or leaving Formula One at the end of the season. But keeping on, keeping on topic, talking about humble in demoralization. Lewis Hamilton is staying humble in demoralization. And I don't know. I don't know what that means. But that's what I see. That's what I see. Because they have tried to demoralize this guy. And they've tried to rise um, George Russell. They probably tried to use Lewis Hamilton to build George Russell too. Just like they tried to do it with Max Verstappen. They tried to do it with Max Verstappen in 2021. They tried to build Max off Lewis. And I think they might have tried to do that. In, but the thing is though. If they did try and do that, they'd put Lewis Hamilton in the, in the number one car and then give um, George better treatment if they wanted to do that. But to put Lewis Hamilton in the number two car, man, that is just... What is, come on, man. What's that all about? Why did Hamilton even accept that? Or was he not going to come back? And they said, if you don't come back and tell us you're coming back now, then we're going to put George in the number one car. And Hamilton probably just ignored them. I said, let's do whatever you want. So they did. <laughs> and then Hamilton comes strolling back in and he's on the number, in the number two car and he's like, oh, I don't give a damn, man. I don't care, man. I'll just match it to my helmet. I mean, I'll make it look cool. You can't demoralise me. I am the face of you in this sport. <laughs> so what do you think anyway? I'm going to close this one here. I'll close this out right now. So but, but what do you think? think they have tried to demoralize Lewis Hamilton this season from the end of last season what, what is going on since the end of the Black Lives Matter movement in Formula One since the silver arrows went back to silver again Lewis Hamilton has been dashed to the side man big time big time he was the face of we are not racist and as soon as that was over gone that was the end of that changed the color of the car back and there was no more campaigning. It was all over and done with. No more winning of the black man. No more black face on the podium. On the top step of that podium. That was the end of that era. Wasn't it? Right, I'm leaving this one here, okay? I'm out of here.